good, what's good, it's YouTube, it's your boy Humble Warrior back as you guys with another banging video. Um, this time we're here to talk about Mr. DW himself. Um, he, you know he plays for the Cleveland Browns, he's a starting quarterback. And I'll start this video, I, I will start this video by saying, allegedly, he's again being charged with SA. For those who don't know what that is, sexual assault. Um, this time, though, the lawsuit allegedly states that he met a woman um, in Houston back in October 2020. Um, they agreed to go on a date. The woman was hesitant to meet him in public, so she agreed to meet her at her apartment. Um, he became frantic, began yelling at her because he couldn't find the exact her exact location at the apartment. So he became a little belligerent, yelling you know, stating, quote unquote, I don't have time for this. So I guess she was able to get him to where she lived at. Um, then the story goes, it skips to where um, <clears throat> she states, I guess in a in a statement that while she was applying makeup in her bathroom, she, she came out to see him completely naked, laying on his stomach on the bed, in which he, um, so when she requested a massage um, upon his buttocks and his um, his back and stuff. And which the lady, you know, she told him that she wasn't a masseuse. He rolled over and suggested that she do his groins and lower. Then it goes on to talk about how um, she pretty much um, refused that gesture and She pretty much refused that gesture and within a few seconds of enragement, he disrobed her and pen penetrated her vaginal area without consent. And she was able to, to loosen herself from that, grab a big enough heavy object to where she could um, act in self-defense. And from there, it says that he stormed out of the, apart the apartment and um, I guess they didn't speak after that. So, after reading this um, article off ESPN, the NFL now is doing an active investigation looking into it. And they said they're not going to put them on the exemption list. So, I guess now they're looking into the personal the personal conduct policy, which i um, not too familiar with, but I know if certain players commit certain acts in that policy, they can get up to, you know, maybe six to 12 games of a suspension, depending on how severe the offense is. Now, with that being said, um, <clears throat> it's not looking too good for him. Um, I think that at this point in his career, Cleveland might want to just cut his cut his ties completely. Because it don't seem like he's, it doesn't, I mean, he hasn't committed any acts in Cleveland that we know about. I mean, they haven't been reported. So all we can go off of is what's, resurfaced from 2020 which is four years ago but trauma is trauma so i mean you can't tell somebody when they should or shouldn't speak up so kudos to young lady for finally stepping forward and doing it her thing with the lawsuit now where that will play out we don't know but i like i said i think it's i think it's time for cleveland to cut ties with this one um they traded heaven and hell to get them and his productivity has been for a lack of a better word, less than less than desirable. And not to mention now he's fighting a lawsuit case, which he did pay 23 out of the 24 alleged cases that was against him before back in Houston. So it may be coming to an end for him. I mean, at this point, I don't know what else to say with that one. Um, I can say that, you know, um, he hasn't learned his lesson and Seems like um, he just continues to getting worse and worse. So with that being said, I mean, hopefully this doesn't go to the left or the luck it might. If it does, I mean, hey, people with, pop, people with money and power do crazy stuff. And what, it, what does occur in the dark eventually comes to the light. And in his case, it's broadcast for everybody to read about and talk about, including myself. So... Um, I guess the more of this story is, hey, money don't buy you everything. 
So we'll see where it goes and any updates from there. I'll probably do another update video down the road. But with that being said, guys, I'm going to get out of here because I got to go back to work. Peace.